Alright, today's Kung Fu lesson is about fixing a toilet, unclogging a toilet. We had some serious problems with this toilet now, and we gotta figure out how to fix this. There's a lot of things that we tried out, and we'll show you right now that it's not working. Um, we're gonna try the plunger, we're gonna try the auger, the smaller one, and we're gonna try a heavy duty, uh, heavy duty auger. That will not work either. And then now, then we have to take the toilet out and see if there's something stuck in the toilet. I don't know if one of the kids put a toothbrush in there or uh, a pencil or something or a toy. Um, so many people use this thing that you don't know, I don't know what's in there, I don't know what's called, it's causing it, I don't know if it's a drainage problem or what. So this video is gonna be focusing on a lot of different ways to try to unclog a toilet and hopefully this will help you fix your toilet. So if you look right now, here is the toilet. I'm going to flush the toilet and you'll see that it's not going to work. Okay, so it didn't work. Now I'm going to plunge it. You see this? It's a heavy duty plunger too. You see one of these plungers using this. Okay, watch. I'm going to flush it again. And you're going to see that it's still not going to work. Alright, the next thing I'm going to try. I saw this online. They're talking about there's these jets that go around this toilet rim where the water coming, is coming down. And basically, if, if the jets are closed because of some calcium buildup, that could cause, you know, give a reason why it's not flushing. So he's saying how you could take like an Allen key, or I, I'm taking one of this, this, this nail right here, just to kind of poke it into the hole to, to clear it up. So basically that's what I'm going to do right now, if this thing is going to work now. Still does not work. Alright, so you see none of that worked. Now I bought this at Home Depot store. This is called I think an auger or some people call it snake. See this point right here? You're supposed to put this in there and then you're supposed to crank it and it's supposed to pretty much take care of the issue. But this did not work. So I ended up getting a, a heavy duty one, which is a lot bigger. See right here, this is a six foot long. The one that I just showed you is a three foot long, but this one could be six feet. That's how big, big the um, metal piece is. This is a heavy duty, heavy duty version. And you're gonna see me try to get this thing to work. And once again, you'll see that's still not going to unclog it, so basically there's something seriously wrong and we're going to have to take the toilet out and see if we can fix it that way but I'm going to show you me using this one usually most claws would be able to be resolved with this device right here but unfortunately in this case it will not solve this problem put this side inside Put it down until that handle is in there. We'll, st we'll try the three feet version first. Pushing this down like this. Stop rotating this thing. See not right now. It's all the way down. There's just three feet long. It's supposed to be rotating this thing. And then from there, you're supposed to flush it to see if it worked. And 
and it did not work. Okay, so this thing is not working. It's not resolving the issue. Now I'll try the six foot version. Basically, you press this button down over here on this side. You press this button down. And then you start pushing this even further down, like this. Now I'm rotating it, like that. So this thing is already all the way at the end. See this right here. It's already six feet down in there. Take this thing out. still won't work. Alright, at this point I'm going to show you what, you, what I'm going to try next. So basically you got to take the, um, turn the water off, you got to turn it, turn the knob to turn the water off. Then you got to flush it and plunge it until the water disappears. So you got to make sure all the water in this tank is gone and all the water in here as much as you can get it out of there. And then after that, then you got to unscrew it. <coughs> the toilet on both sides from those bolts and then we're gonna take the toilet out of there and then we're gonna see what's going on once you take the toilet off okay at this point I took out as much water as I can you see it's all the way low I'm pressing this down it's not flushing anymore I turn the water off at the valve there's no water not much water in there I turn the water in the valve I gotta use this wrench right here to basically un, un uh, loosen this up on both sides okay so I have um, taken the bolt out on both sides and this side too now I also have to um, un unscrew this part right here which by hand I just unscrewed it you take that off too so then when you take the toilet off that's not going to remain connected so just unscrew that one by hand as well okay I just took the toilet off all right now, if you look down here, got a flashlight. It seems the um, the sewage is backed up. There's some standing water right there. So that standing water is probably the cause of the problem, and it's probably not the toilet.
right, so here we go. What we had to do, we had to get a plumber to go rot out the basement, the pipes in the basement, and you see it's clear now the pipe. So we had to go to the basement and rot it out over there. Okay, so we rotted it from the basement. Now let's see if it works. There you go. After all that drama, 